Yes. Of course. But I, I'm kind of surfing the web right That's now. Right. When, so. I was, when I was about three months into it, I was approached one day. Now, what happens <laughs> is there's a podium speaker that speaks to a group of 12 couples. Fresh. <laughs> fresh couple. Fresh meat. Okay? And each, each couple has a liner, as you know. Mm -hmm. It's always a Mexican. It's always a Mexican liner and almost invariably an American closer. That's how it works. Right. And the split was... Eight, it was 8% of the gross, and it was 4.8 to the closer, 3.2 to the lighter. That's how it worked. Anyway, there was always a podium speaker. And at that point, I was so freaking green. I mean, I used to, I still had stuff hanging off my ears. And I was surrounded by piranhas. I mean, you want to talk about a shark tank. My God. <laughs> anyway, one day, Barry, I forget his last name. Barry came up to me. He was the assistant manager. He said, Grossman, you're doing the next podium. Now, remember, I've been there for three months. I don't know shit. He wants me to talk to the group of people about timeshare, okay? I said, Barry, I can't do that. I don't know enough. He said, if you don't do it, you're fired. It was that simple. And he turned and walked away. And I knew he was serious yeah, right. because the guy I worked for, Mark Perner, was like a Nazi. So I got up and by the seat of my pants... Now, here was the advantage. The podium speaker always got to choose their couple. That was one of the advantages. So you got to pick the one, you got to... Yes, you got to... and you would watch the body. And you would watch the, bo you'd watch you the body. You'd watch, you'd watch the body language. And you know, when you saw that couple leaning over the table. That they were like, really? They were in. When you saw them like this, <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it was my first podium. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I picked a couple literally in front of me, and I sold $41,000 worth of time this year with a little bit of help, with a little bit of help from a seasoned closer. I remember making like $1,925 on the deal, and I was hooked. I was freaking hooked. I had never spoken to a group of people in my life, basically. And now, all of a sudden, I sold $41,000 worth of timeshare, and I was excited. <laughs> so, at that point... I just said, well, I'm going to learn how to speak to groups. And I'm thinking, well, what actually is this? Is this timeshare? What else could we call it? Well, it could be fractional ownership. <laughs> so, for, and that's a term that was bounded around a little bit. Yeah, now it's more a more everyday term. But back then, yeah, timeshare time was just the right, word in right. fractional. But timeshare had a still back then because it was the wild west and it was yeah. incredible could be, yeah, so, could fra be. so fractional ownership i started using and what happened was i developed my own shtick and what i did with um what i did with jim was just a little i just did a little bit of what i would say so i'd get up there and i'd say good morning my name is dave grossman i'm the podium speaker and by the way when i used the word speaker the liners would always fucking laugh because i was using the actual term <laughs> 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 So I would say it in English, but I'd say it in Spanish. <laughs> they'd always, they'd always laugh because I'd always say speaker, not like, like, you know, like, 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 a, like an actual music exactly. Speaker. And they thought that was hysterical. A, 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 a Thank you. That I was <laughs> <laughs> like he called himself the speaker it was, of the yeah. law. <laughs> it was like, it was He's like. All. The Spanish they got wrong. It was yeah. our personal joke because I, I mean, I knew it was wrong, but after a while, we all got a kick out of it. So I know Americans knew it. So I just and the Americans had no idea exactly. So what happened is people would come in, and I would start immediately and say, "Welcome, folks. I have a question for you. How many of you flew down here? Raise your hand. All of ninety percent. Okay. I have a question for you. Did you rent the plane yourself, or did you travel with other people? I traveled with other people. Why did you travel with other people? Because. Uh... Were you able to rent the plane yourself? <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, you weren't, okay? <laughs> Folks, that is a fractional ownership con concept. That's a timeshare concept. We're all pitching in to share time to fly down here. You couldn't do it. Could you do this yourself? No. So everybody goes, no. But what happened was that for so nobody else had used that line. Yeah. But almost everybody flew down there. Right. And so what happened was... All of a sudden, the very first thing that I said actually made a lot of sense. Now, obviously, I said it a little stronger and a little more concise because I haven't done this in years. Right, right. But the point was people really took notice of the concept of sharing time on an airplane. Well, <laughs> folks, can you buy this hotel yourself? No, you can't. What must you all do? I mean, I was like, I was on. What must we all do? <laughs> We all have to share the time, share the clock. 
So the body language would change, <laughs> okay? And, and folks, question for you. What's the last movie you saw? Mm. It's okay. <laughs> uh, let's just say Spider-Man. Okay, I have a question for you. How much did it cost to make that movie? I don't know. A lot. Can we say at least fifty million, maybe yeah. more? Yeah. yeah. How much did it cost you to see this movie? Eight dollars. I have a question for you. How did you get to see a movie that cost fifty million dollars to make and it only cost you eight dollars? How did that happen? Small ownership. That's right. <laughs> way, it takes a lot of people spending eight dollars to get the movie, and everybody was free. And then all of a sudden, I became like, and I don't mean this in an ego sense. If, if you, but what happened was, I got so good at it, and I was so fucking into it that I was like speaking two or three times a day. <laughs> They're like, Dave, Dave's going to do the next part. <laughs> yeah. And so the point was, I was able to early on take things that we did on a regular basis, flying movies, and in integrally mix them with our lives and sharing the cost of vacation time. And um, I did really well. And I loved it. And it, what it did was, is it actually got me into public speaking. After that, I got into talking to large groups of people for a num many years after that. I can still do it. But, that's, but that was the pivotal, that was a life changer right there. And then, uh, did I tell you what they used, the Mexicans, my nickname was? No. It was Mr. AT&T. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause you because I'd be on the phone, there was nobody there. The, the, and I'd be talking to Irvine, the closer, California. Doing the closer. And the, uh, Mexicans, the, closed. the Mexicans couldn't understand how I could do this for 10, 15 minutes at a time. We're There's nobody the there. <laughs> and I was having a conversation with, allegedly, Corporate. Yeah. Well, the customers oh, let me call corporate. We'll see if uh, well, we can get this handled. See what they said. <laughs> well, it was very ballsy. And I have, you know what? I have to tie something in. I think you guys will appreciate it. The reason why I was probably slow to start to bring you guys in is because I was allowed to do, I really want you to hear this, I was allowed to do my own drops at the table. And when I did a drop, I would make them puke at 15.5 for one week, and I would hold at 15.5, and they'd vomit continuously. Nobody wants to pay 15,500 for one week of timeshare, and I wouldn't let them off the hook. I was trained not to let them off the hook. And when I went ahead, and you know what I do? I'd say, folks, there's nothing I can do, and I am so sorry. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you guys back on vacation. Seventy percent of the deals were after I said it's I'm going away. to get it's you. It's the same as it's your takeaway. Take well, but you know what else? But what what else would happen? Not a, only was it a takeaway, but what else was happening with them? They were being completely let off the hook, and they were done. And in that moment, they completely dropped and relaxed. It was like, oh, this guy's done with us. Thank goodness. It's Folks, a takeaway, though. That's the same thing. The takeaway is. I have a question for you. Maybe shouldn't get that car. I don't think we <laughs> should buy an Accord. Leather is just not for you. I mean, I see that. I mean, we all want what I we think can. We should, maybe maybe I you think should look you should look at that Impreza, base yeah. Impreza, instead of the WRX. And I, and of I course, don't need to sell you the WRX. You need to look over it. And of course, morning. I get that from you guys, but I wanted you to know why. It may, I may have been a little slow to start to do that with you. It wasn't out of ego. It was that for 13 years. No I wonder was, you're so full of shit, Dave. Thank you. For 13 <laughs> years, I was doing these. You were in this dispute shit. I, I, you know, and, 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 and you know what? I see some of the little common tendencies. It's like when we ask Dave a question, the whole timeshare comes like, no, let me, you can't answer a question. No, <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I had a really busy day today. Um, I must, I mean, there's probably 15 timeshares I signed up today. Uh, Which area were you talking Which about? Which couple were you talking about? Which I unit believe. Were, which unit were you looking at? I believe I can do that. Yes. All right. That's good. That's very fucking good. <laughs> so what I want you to do, Dave, I want you to, when you're at home sometimes and, and you're, uh, you're bored, I want you to think of some other parallel mm -hmm. similarities that worked for you very well there. I will do that. Now, I don't necessarily want you to try everyone. I want you to run them by us first. I will do that. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will. Yeah, yeah I, we'd like to be informed uh, on these timeshare closes. All right, that's cool. Before, but but uh, I want you to think of some similarities. I mean, just like you said, that takeaway. I will. Because to me, that was a very big, out of all of that, that's very relevant still today. And if you do that 90% of the time, 70% of the time, just like you said. Before you even come talk to us. 
they have if, some if, unrealistic if, offer or just say, I, I don't price. think so maybe we're on too much car maybe we better go look at the free oh, and you guys get what doing that oh yeah, yeah. please because that's going to get them back more on the right path yeah. and make and it better for you and us easily do that yeah if they start going you know this just remember when they start to talk price when they start to start price you go well, these are very popular vehicles. I mean, the first thing I need to do is check the availability of the vehicle. I have 20 salespeople, mm. an internet department, that are all trying to They're sell the same car. They're taking deposits all the time. And this I got to make sure the car's available. Could be sold and then already. So let me see if it's You available. go from talking about price to, I got it. oh, well, shit, I hope the car is available. You know what that's like? You want week 32, don't you? My God. That's a very tough... Yeah, exactly. I don't think... <laughs> See? I don't think... Draw those conclusions. I don't Draw think... Those conclusions. I, I don't think the week 32 is available. But there, is there another week that you'd like? What would you like? <laughs> anyway. So, same thing. Yes, I want you to apply those. And then... I will. If, it, if it's Thank very you. relevant like that, mm -hmm. please use it. But... Let me check the availability of week 32. Let me check the availability of that... <laughs> it's the same <laughs> thing. Okay. You want you want the WRX manual transmission. It's very popular. Let me. Let, oh, you want the Ooh. Outback. Mm, I'm just gonna tie this. And gentlemen, Jeez. thank you for weaving this together with me. Okay? No problem, Dave. I appreciate that. And so what happened is we know you have a lot of talent, Dave. We thank do. you. It's just a matter of having it come out again. Just have have it directed in the right. Agreed direction. completely. And so what would happen is I would do from fifteen five. And they would, yeah, the word was. They're on the make, ceiling. They're on the make ceiling. Make them puke. Make, I, was, I was drilled into me. Same thing. Put hold them on the 15, ceiling. Five, hold, and nobody sold time shirts 15 5 for one week. That was outrageous. And they'd puke and puke and puke, but I'd hold and hold and hold. Then when I got on the phone with Mr. Nobody in Irvine, California, Mr. at and and they actually, literally, that was my nickname, Mr. at and And they did, they did diagrams of me on the phone, like they did little. <laughs> anyway, I would drop to about 8,200. Or sometimes seventy six hundred. It was a radical, radical half, drop. Half price. Radical drop. And then they oh. And what happened was, yes, a lot of the time because I held so well and lined them so well, excuse me, I lined them also, but right, closed right. them, they would go, Okay, we'll take that repo. Of course it's not a repo. There's no such thing as a repo. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great word <laughs> because it's not fee simple. You don't own it, so you can't repo it. <laughs> it's just time. <laughs> but the point is, the word worked. Right. The word worked. Right. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, no problem, Dave. Uh, thank you have, for sharing some of your time share. Uh, I have a lot of other things too. But I know. We'll I'll, we'll we'll do that in time. Yeah, we'll time we'll have another thing. Thank you, Dave. All right, stop for now. That was actually fun.